Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have finally finished my mini journal and I have called it my sweet and shabby tattered mini journal. Uh, I did use the uh, linen, lace and paper digital kit uh, from Carrie Ann who is a shabby art boutique and I'm part of her design team and I was uh, so delighted to be able to work with this gorgeous digital. Um, I did share a couple of uh, projects in my last video uh, using the same digitals uh, where I made um, a tag with some pockets. I also made a mini file folder to hold some ephemeras. Um, so I'll put the link down below to that video if you want to get some inspiration on what you like to uh, in case you wanted to make something similar. I'm also going to do a tutorial with those uh, projects. But um, I also went ahead and made myself a gorgeous journal and um, I was so happy with the way it turned out. I wanted to share it with you uh, earlier but I keep adding more and more uh, embellishing to the journal and I keep holding myself back from sharing it with you. Um, but I think I have finally finished. Um, it's really, really um, kind of chunky but not quite. I didn't do any sewing on the hinge. I just added uh, some of the little mini... Uh, page dividers that are in the kit there's some smaller little uh page tabs so i did use those to create the hinge to hold the pages together as well as some of the leftover paper scraps to create the hinge uh, or the uh, spine bit which is along here and i uh, just sort of fold the papers and then join the pages to the hinge uh, but i want to do a flip through and show you um what i made so you can see it's not fairly large i use most of the digitals uh, in the kit and some of my music papers and some book pages. I love decorating the uh, journal with dangles. Um, I guess that's why I called it a, tatty, a tattered mini journal because it's got all of these tattered um, trims and rough edges around each of the pages. So it has that shabby tattered look. Um, so let me go ahead and um, this, is, this here is the front of the journal. Um, it's a larger heart uh, shape in the digital and I resize it to make it slightly larger using the elements um, file that um, is in the kit and you can resize uh, the images to whatever size you like so I resize the heart for the front part of the journal page so I'll just show you I'll bring it this way so you can see so that's the size of the heart and this one here is one of uh, Carrie Ann's uh, heart sizes in the kit so I added that uh, I think that's one of her sizes or one of my sizes but um, I added a smaller one to the front just to make it so it's a slightly larger front uh, cover for the journal uh, so there is a little um, heart in the front and I use that as a little tuck spot for one of the little mini button cards and I did uh, print these on matte photo a paper cardstock uh, so it's a little bit uh, sturdy than your standard paper weight and i sewed on a couple of buttons and i just added some cheesecloth to the top and some of this nice uh, stick textured paper and just scrunched it up and glued it to the corner and added a pearl just to finish that off so that's really cute and i just placed that on the inside there the the back. Uh, this is one of her word sentiments. I uh, distressed all of the edges with uh, some scissors so I didn't use any inking. Finished that with a cute little tiny uh, like a, a rhinestone style flat embellishment to there. So I do like the way the front of the cover looks and this here is one of the heart buttons that's in the kit place that there and then I add some lace to the back and some soft trim to the front. Uh, so the next page, I backed the heart with um, some of my lace and some tool, some of the cheesecloth just again having that tattered theme to my journal and I liked how that turned out. So that's the cover. And here is just one of the scrap papers I use. I folded it in half to create the hinge to join the pages together. I've done a video, uh, I think it's one of my Polaroid shape mini albums. And that is how I constructed the journal using that same hinging technique from that same 
Polaroid uh, journal that I made. Um, I, I like making my journals and uh, booklets using this sort of hinge. And this is another of the note cards in the uh, kit. I then backed it with some more of the background paper to the back to cover the white part of the uh, cardstock. And it's another spot here where I could do a little bit of journaling if I wanted to. I can do some journaling here. I could add a little photo if I wanted to. So I could do that. And here is one of her page tabs. This is the smaller size. Uh, there are two sizes in the kit. Uh, so this is the smaller size and there's like three on a page. Um, if you have a look, you'll get three on a page. And so I just cut that and place that there. This is one of her small little mini pockets that's inside, which fit it perfectly for the larger tag. Uh, well, there's four tags to a page. They're the larger size. So that little uh, pocket will fit onto this tag. So I place that there, place some of these cute little, little bingo cards that are in the collection and they're just so cute with the cute bunnies. Just so adorable and I love the colours and they fit it in there just nicely and this is one of her background papers as well just finish that off with a little bit of, uh, of embellishment down the corner I added uh, some fabric trim that I just torn and added there it's a couple a little bead and a little acrylic leaf on a bowl pin and I just also added some trim on the bottom there and this is also another uh, digital from there which I've added to the back of the uh, tag here so I can journal a little bit here there's some lines here so I could journal on there and it's really pretty over here is a, another of uh, background paper another cute little uh, another little small spot for me to journal or if I just want to write a little note or a quote and again another spot here for some journaling this here is a cute little ticket one of the cute little ticket strips I've actually got that in front of me here I'll just show you I did cut some already so this is um, a full page of the ticket strips you get uh, the smaller size and some of the larger size so that smaller one that I cut out here is this one um, it's this cute little bunny one just there it's really really just so cute who doesn't love bunnies they're just adorable so that's they're the images And all I'd done was punch a couple of little holes on um, one on the top and one on the bottom and threaded some crochet string and then just added this there to just decorate the page, added some little bees to finish off the uh, at the end of the string. And then this is a, a music sheet that I have. I did some stamping here and I did some stitching. I actually did a lot of stitching on all of the pages, so um, except for this one, but most of the uh, pages I did stitch around the edge. And there is one of the uh, paper ruffled flowers that I, I love making. And I thought that just fit, finished perfectly on that heart up there. Added a little, uh, some crochet trim with a little cute little sparkly dangle. Just to add a bit of sparkle to the journal. And this is one of the background papers again. And this is the next one, next page. I did some more stitching around the uh, edge. This is uh, one of the ruffles that I also love making, especially if you have a lot of the digital scrap pieces left over that you may have torn. You can create these little ruffles. I have another one here that I made. I shared this in my last video. Um, every time I have uh, all the collections, I just make these ruffles and just keep them in a bundle and then I can add these onto my projects. So this is the heart little heart button that's in the kit as well so I just lay the two hearts together that's that one and um, I just added it to the top of the page here and just finishes it off nicely and this is a larger note card so this is actually one full size and what I done here was I just folded this part over to the back to create a tuck spot 
so that I could see some of this cute, lovely floral here. So I just folded that over. I did some stitching around this, uh, around the edge. I placed these. This is one of the other little ticket strip again with the gorgeous bunny. Gorgeous, cute, cute. <laughs> and this is one of the little envelopes that I resized. So that just fit it perfectly in that little tuck spot. Uh, this here is a little clip. It's like a barrette clip that I made to hold uh, another one of the little uh, the di uh, digitals from the kit. This is one of my little um, barrette clips that I made. It's really pretty and it just holds uh, this little uh, note paper that I've placed in here so I could have some extra spot to write. I could also write on this side as well. I did distress the paper with uh, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo Ink. I just didn't like the whiteness of it so I just wanted to give it that sort of more uh, stained look to the back, to the white part of the back of the paper. So that is that part and this is the other heart. So this is the heart size. So I had uh, size four of these heart shaped into the same size. So I made four of these and they fit it perfectly onto the one page. And I use A4 paper to um, print these out. And again, I did some stitching using some pink uh, thread. And this is the back with a book page that I backed that with. This is another of the heart and one of the little bows that is in one of the digitals so I place that there so I'm just going to place this back in here I did make some more of these which I'm going to add to the shop I'm still just making a few more items before I share with you all of my new uh, goodies that I'll be having in my shop but let me just show you the barrettes that I made which is similar to those so I've already made I made I made four that will be listed in my shop so I'll just show you quickly so this is what you get uh, in the, if you wanted to purchase this. I've made a dangle and it's got a little clip there so you can take the clip off. Um, let me just take that off, just quickly show you. So you get one of these little barrette clips that I had embellished with some uh, fabric clusters. And there is a little dangle as well, which you can just dangles off your page and it's just so cute there is um, a strip of uh, crochet trim a trim that you could use on your projects if you wanted to so you just uh, unclip that and then you can attach it to your journal this is attached to a antique bronze uh, safety pin with a little dangle so you can also add that to your tags or to your fabric uh, pieces then you have this extra little uh, piece of crochet that you could use for your embellishing i also made a little collage note card type piece where i just added some of the bits and pieces of papers did some stamping on a tea stained paper that i tea dyed and i did some stitching and you can use this part to write a little note if you wanted to so this will be added to my shop and I'm only going to have, um, I think, four or six of these in my shop, depending how well they sell. I'll start off with four first. Uh, this will be available in my shop in the next coming days, but I'm going to share with you some more of all of my fun stuff for your junk dirt journals that I'm going to have in my shop, which I can't wait to share with you that I'll be listing. So they're the four pieces that I have. And I'll just put this one back. It just looks really pretty. Decorate your journal really nicely. So um, this is the back. And over here is one of the other cards. So I was mentioning this one here. This one here is this same size as this one. And all I done was fold this part back to create that tuck spot here. Or you could also fold it towards you and have a tuck spot on this side. So. That's what I've done and this is just a perfect enough space for a little bit of uh, writing and I did some trim down the bottom, did some stitching and this is the back of the next part and then there is this cute uh, 
digital image paper ruffled with the bunny and I think it's so cute. I did distress the edge of this one as well because I didn't like the white edge. And I think I have that here. Let me just show you. I've already started cutting these ones as well, but let me just show you. So, oops, sorry, I just bumped the camera. This is the uh, page with all of the cute bunnies on the, like a ruffled layered um, image with there's a couple of roses in there's a rose there and these are some of the bows that I just shared with you in one of the pages so you can see there's a few different sizes for you to uh, play around with and use so I did cut one of those and placed it to the back to create a tuck spot for one of the postcards that also come in the kit I love postcards um, I don't know about you if you love your journaling postcards is something that I just love and especially the smaller ones they're just so cute so I'm so glad that Kerri Ann has postcards in her kits because they just make a great addition to your journal. Or if you want to send some happy mail, it's a great little way to add your little message or um, a little note to the back of the um, postcard. Another page here with some more, uh, another spot for me to journal. This is one of my fabric ruffles that I just uh, trimmed off and placed it on the corner here to create like a little uh, decorative edge I still have these in my shop as well some um, fabric ruffles and I'll just see if I can bring this along so this here is one of the dangles that I made I just punched a hole onto there and added one of the dangles so that just goes at the back you can also use that to uh, mark the page and at the back here is a, another uh, spot to journal for me so I just back the two they come in the same sizes so I just back the other one to the back of the white part of the cardstock I have another page here for some more journaling added some trim and added a little uh, crystal dangle there with uh, on the safety pin little butterfly some stitching and to the back, another spot for me to do some journaling. So I did make sure I added a lot of um, the pages where I'm able to write on each page or add a photo of if I wanted to. Here's one of the paper ruffles again. Just added that to the top just to decorate the plainness of the page. This is the last heart shape um, that I would resized. Again, some stitching, it's beautiful. Love this uh, image. So it's just stunning. Carrie Ann's work is just absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, you'll have no problems if you want to create anything. It, everything just coordinates well and just, it just looks adorable when you have a look at your finished work. And you know, you, there are just no rules into whatever you want to make with all of her kits. You can make anything you like can do whatever you want and um, I just kept adding more I did also added some string here and with that string let me just see where it is just to show you all I done was I just picked out a page and I just wrapped it around one of the folded hinges and just wrapped it around and then just tied it to there just to decorate the spine and you can keep adding more on all of the um, folded part of the hinge and you can have all these bunches of different trims just to give it that nice chunkiness to your journal and all the different textures using your fabric trims papers so I was so happy to make this journal so I hope you enjoyed my flip through of my um, sweet and shabby tattered mini journal I just love flicking through the pages it's just I don't know. I just think it's so fun to just keep flicking through and seeing all the little bits and pieces that I add on to these. So I hope you enjoyed my video and um, if you want to purchase your kit, I'll add the link down below for you and it'll take you straight to Kerry Ann's Etsy store and you can purchase your linen, lace and paper digitals. And there are a whole heap of other digital kits in there that you may also love if you love anything shabby. So I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.